Hey, this is Charles and Linda with Muscle White Marketing. Today's message has nothing to do with, with small business or even marketing. Really, it's about an experience that we had yesterday uh, that we just wanted to share with you. Yesterday, we were at um, Scripps Tour de Pines um, waiting to have some, some tests done. And I'll let Charles tell it because I'm going to end <laughs> up welling up. <laughs> Well, we, we entered into this room, and as we're coming in, there's a couple that has their back to us, uh, and you can tell just from the outline that it's an older couple, uh, a frail couple, and one with uh, some serious medical um, challenges, I would say. Uh, the wife, the woman, had half of her scalp shaved, indicating there were some neurological issues going on there, and probably some recent surgeries. Uh, as we proceeded to sit down, we're now facing them. Uh, and the wife started to go into some sort of a convulsion, uh, and it was it was quite noticeable. Everyone in behind her was watching this woman just shake violently, and there's all I could do was to look away. But I was convicted by that. At the same time, her husband, again an older gentleman, at least 20 years older than I am, uh, just sprang into action, and I was moved. I was touched. Uh, I was touched in the way in which he cared for his wife, the, uh, um, the love that he had for his wife, uh, the patience that he had for his wife, uh, and the simple fact that he was, uh, uh, he, was, he was being attentive to her. He was taking care of her. And uh, then some people came around. There was, a couple, there was some nurses. About, they knew some nurses that were there, so again, indicating that they have been there quite often. Yeah. Uh, and this one nurse came out and was talking to both of them. M meanwhile, the whole time, the wife is having these just major convulsions. She had no control over them. She couldn't stop them. It was almost like it was um, some type of palsy or I, I, we don't know. Yeah, just uh, you can only imagine, though, the challenges that they're faced with uh, day in, day out, hour by hour, uh, and then from a the standpoint of just quality of life, at least from what the world would tell us. But anyway, this nurse comes over, and she's so happy to see them, and the husband just lit up. Uh, and initially, uh, I didn't hear anything other than to say, you know, just be happy. Yeah. Not, you know, I need to just be happy. They said, I have, what else can I do but just be happy? And at that point, I was like, oh my gosh, it's totally <laughs> over. Um, my eyes welled up, and um, thankfully, they called my name to go back, so I didn't get to um, ball in front of everyone. <laughs> Um, but then when I came back out, um, having you know my stuff done, um, Charles had said to me, uh, "We need to wait." Absolutely. You, you see, for me, in that moment where that guy voiced the fact that I don't have anything to do but just to be happy, it spoke just volumes to me, uh, as a husband, as a dad, just as a person. That uh, regardless of what life throws at you, the, the situations that you're in, the challenges that lie ahead. You've lost your job, you've lost your home, work sucks, I mean, whatever. You can throw it all in the bucket, all in the bag, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, you can, you can allow the distractions of this world and life to beat you down or look at it for what it is and you have another day. Uh, you have family, you have love, and that's what this guy uh, conveyed to me. And it felt so strong by it, I just had to wait for him. So, you know, a few minutes went by and uh, they came out. And I approached him, I think he was a little taken aback because, again, you know, I was quite bigger than him and I know he did, we didn't know each other, but uh, I just wanted to shake his hand that uh, for me to see that that day uh, reminded me of all the blessings that we all have, that we do have uh, another day, we do have family, we have kids, we have roof overheads, we have all those things that we need to take granted for. So, uh, you know, maybe I'll never see that guy again, but I'm pretty sure that that moment was for us to see and just simply be reminded. So I hope this video speaks to somebody out there and it does the same thing that uh, you know things are happening around us all day long every day and to just be aware and open to it. Uh, and regardless of what curveballs come your way, there's always tomorrow. Uh, you know, and to uh, you know, just live for the moment, live for today. Yeah, and what else can you do but to be happy in your situation? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I hope this resonates to somebody, I hope this speaks to somebody. If it does, leave a comment. Uh, better yet, leave a video response. We'd love to hear from you and, uh, you know, share this with somebody. Maybe it'll brighten their day. So that's it. This is uh, Linda and Charles, and uh, we look forward to talking to you again soon. Take care.